Howdy everyone, this is Casey with Acusha Collectibles. We just finished up at an estate sale in Louisiana where we bought a few coin books. We were there for four hours before the show even started. It started at 10 and we ended up getting there at 6, 6.30 so we could be the first in line. Let me uh, show you a few of the coin books that we got and uh, what our thoughts are. Hey everybody, this is Drew with Acusha Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. So, I ended up going to the show this past weekend at White Settlement, Texas and found all those really nice Holder Morgan dollars and Peace dollars. But while I was doing that, my brother and uh, my dad ended up going to an estate sale in what, Shreveport, Louisiana. And they ended up finding a lot of good stuff for really great prices. So, we're gonna do a little breakdown right here show you guys exactly what we got and kind of give you guys a little bit of perspective of uh, what we would sell them for and uh, kind of the profit margin for this stuff. Um, it took us a little bit of a sacrifice going all the way to Shreveport but um, you know when you're in the rat race you just got to keep going and seeing what happens and seeing what you could find and just show up as early as you can so and this is Pinky by the way for everybody that wants to know. Uh, he's one of our puppies but let's take a deep dive real quick and show you guys what we found. All right, so for the first book, uh, we have a full album, a Whitman album full of Benjamin Half Dollars. A lot of them are circulated, but towards the end um, of the album, uh, you can see they're kind of uncirculated there. Actually pretty decent grades. I might consider sending one or two off just to give it a, a shot. Um, but yeah, what we paid for this beautiful album is 140 bucks and uh, what we're projected to sell this one for is around 400 bucks so uh, this one was probably made our trip um, in terms of making a profit but a uh, really great outcome on this one let me show you guys the next one so this is the Mercury Dime set also a Whitman album um, we thought the 16D was in there but they actually just put it as a placeholder of a 16S which is okay uh, the 21 and the 21D, uh, they're in decent condition. I would say you could probably could sell these both for around $55 shipped. So make about $50 just on these two coins besides all the silver. Um, we counted 81 dimes in this set. And uh, to give you guys an exact number of what we paid, we also paid $140 for this set as well. Um, so we're going to be making out, I'd say, what, 100 bucks, maybe something like that. Um, after silver content, I'll actually give you guys the real calculation um, in the top left of your screen. But once again, a really nice set. Um, it's going to be pretty interesting to see how these sell. I normally sell bigger items, but when things present themselves for an affordable price, I like to go along and, and learn something new. So this is a really good set, and I can't wait to find someone that will enjoy it. Up next, we have the Roosevelt Dime set. Uh, a lot of circulated stuff on the front page. On the second page, you're seeing a lot of unk stuff between the 60s to 70s. Uh, most of these are unk, um, like I said on the second page. And uh, we paid, I think we paid $100 for this set. And based on just the silver content, I think there was a total of 58 dimes. I'll give you guys the math of probably what we're going to make on this set. So not the most on it, but something that, like I said, gives us something interesting to look after. Um, also, you know, I haven't really checked for full torch or uh, better grades in these areas right here. So I'll end up doing that before I sell the set. Now, we're going to take a look at this bag right here. Uh, we bought a lot of just miscellaneous stuff from a different garage sale. Uh, we asked about it and they actually uh, sent something and brought it out of their safe. And we spent like $175 on this stuff. Um, I would project us getting anywhere between 210 to 225 in terms of value on this set. Uh, there's a lot of Morgan dollars in here, a lot of uh, Unc Franklin half dollars. Uh, and they put like a little type book together of like uh, braided scent and a whole bunch of problem coins, but still something good for a new collector to have. And last but not least, um, which came out of this set, there's this 
uh, really beautiful uh, Ankh Ike, Ike dollar. Um, and I project this coin to be, uh, once it's conserved, there's actually some PVC just hanging out right here on the coin. But once PCGS uh, conserves this coin, hopefully they do well with it. I think this coin will come back at 67. And a 67 uh, price guide is currently for around $850. So uh, we're going to be setting this one off, seeing what happens with it, and hopefully it pays off. It looks like a really, really nice coin. And I haven't really messed with Ikes too much, but when I saw this coin, you can actually see some polish points right here um, from when it was minted and made. And there's very minimal wear. I think there's one light scratch to the left of the head. But like I said, we're going to try this coin out and see what happens with it. It's an extraordinary piece. Um, and I kind of want to move into some stuff like this and start learning how to grade more and more uh, kind of common stuff um, that actually ends up being very expensive in high grades. And I wanted to also show you guys two things that we uh, got as well. Uh, this is a roll of Washington Quarters BU from 1964, the Denver Mint. Um, these coins we bought for $150 and uh, silver is around $200 when we sell these. So about a 25% return uh, before shipping, which is a really nice uh, bump in the profit. And we also got these 1964D uh, pennies, BU pennies as well. Um, I'm not too sure uh, if we're going to hold on to these or have much use for them. So if you guys would like these pennies, uh, just comment below. Um, I'm going to be picking a random comment um, just to ship these pennies out to you um, if you're interested in collecting pennies or uh, have any use for them. Um, it's a really nice uh, group of pennies. I think. Uh, uh, they might have been taken from an original roll, I'm not too sure. Uh, kind of plucked through, but still a pretty cool uh, amount of coins and just something that I want to give back to you guys maybe. Uh, just as a, a thank you guys for watching and liking and commenting on my videos. So uh, thank you guys and I appreciate that. But I wanted to thank you guys for watching today's video. Um, if you did enjoy it, please leave a like. Uh, comment what uh, your favorite set was that we purchased. Um, and also comment if you learned something today. Um, and if you guys want to see more coin content in the future, uh, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Uh, we try to upload three times a week when we can. And uh, we're just so thankful to have a great community to uh, talk to and make content for. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your evening. And it's been Drew, and I'll see you later.